So for some reason you missed the heck and cat video. I basically explained that a while ago I found this random uh, cat model from a game while I was porting other assets from it and I decided to port the cat to Gary's mod and then I gave the link to everyone in the description of the video and told people to make stuff with it and then send it to me. Well, a couple people did. And I'm going to look at them. In this video and stuff, as you could tell, I did not uh, drink coffee today. So the first one is a, uh, what I assume to be some kind of story uh, by Sawsome Gaming, Sawsome Gaming. So the story starts off, I'm um, outside on Construct and this giant black hole opens and the, the star fleet of Heckin cats emerge from hyperspace and I'm like, whoa. That's not good. <laughs> so then apparently I, I run inside uh, to where Marvel was, you know, doing what he usually does on a, on a nice Sunday morning, stacking some explosive barrels and lining up his rare vintage collection of vending machines. Uh, and I point out to him that the uh, heckin' cat Starfleet is invading the galaxy. He, uh, kind of casually notices uh and then uh, apparently a huge huge gap of time has just uh elapsed we have been uh in mortal combat with the starfleet of heckin cats um for quite a while now and apparently i've been hit by one cat uh, apparently it uh, maybe it was a cat missile maybe this is some kind of kamikaze starship I know what I'm talking about anyways I'm injured and Marvel's like don't die on me now we still have work to do and I'm sitting here and I'm bleeding out if it's the last thing that I do is bring it out I'll bleed out for you so uh Marvel's like, no, I will avenge you. And then I'm like, not dead yet. In kind of a dazed confusion. Like, Marvel's over here being melodramatic. And I'm like, but, uh, but I'm still alive. I, you were helping a second ago, but uh, you were putting pressure on the wound. But you, you stopped. You stopped to do your, your, I don't even know, movie sequence thing. I don't, I don't think I'm happy about this. I'm kind of upset that he is now ignoring me in my time of need. So anyways, he charges the cat Starfleet, um, and does some kind of pick a fire to the, the, the heckin' cat, uh, invasion with what looks to be gnome missiles. I didn't know Marvel could do that. But uh, yeah, uh, this is part of the official Deadwater lore now. Marvel can just like shoot flaming gnome missiles out of his hands, Dragon Ball style whenever he wants. So then, he destroys the entire heckin' cat Starfleet um, in a very cinematic explosion. And he gets knocked away by the explosion. And uh, unfortunately, some uh, shrapnel from the explosion impaled his sternum. And so then he, uh, he dies, unfortunately. But uh, and, and, and I finally died. You know, I, I bled out because Marvel wasn't there to keep pressure on the wound and my arms were 
I don't know. I'm just going to say my arms were numb. Maybe I, I was tired. I didn't feel like holding pressure on my own wound. So I, I bled out and died while he was busy uh, exploding the Starfleet with his gnome missiles that obviously backfired. But luckily we saved the city of GM Construct uh, from impending doom. Our heroic sacrifices will be remembered, I guess. Um, I don't know where Mahogany was during all this. I'm sure he was probably you know, sitting inside somewhere eating ramen while watching TV or something, blissfully unaware of the chaos outside. But yeah, anyways, that's a that's an epic story. That's one for... Hollywood needs to pick up on uh, that script and make a full-length feature film out of that. It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. And then uh, the next one we have is from Ye Old Duck. And this is a this is a reference to a really old video of ours called "We're Never Getting Anything Done." This looks like a recreation of that scene. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm pretty sure it's a recreation because this leg right here is obviously Kleiner's leg. And in the in the original uh, scene, this was Marvel's leg. And I know he wears blue jeans. So I'm pretty sure this is Kleiner's leg. So this is a recreation. At first I thought he just posed the heckin' cat in the green screen room and then overlaid it on a frame from the original video. But I'm pretty sure this is a recreation. Which is pretty dang impressive because this is so close to what I remember the original looking like uh, that I thought this actually was a frame from the video. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just having a bad memory, but I'm, I'm pretty certain this is a recreation. But yeah, in, in the original video during this part, um, in real life, Marvel's nephew is like interrupting the recording. So Mahogany was like making this song about Marvel's nephew interrupting the recording and um, I was like animating it in machinima form as he told the story. There's this one part where Marvel's like, Midas drop the kid's toy dude and Midas is the name of his dog so uh, yeah this this was the kid's toy in the original video. Midas drop the, drop the kid's toy dude. Midas, again being deeply offended by Marvel, goes to play with his nephew, who was also deeply offended by Marvel. In this case, he turns around and the hecked cat's there, so this is like an alternate dimension version, uh, which is funny. Um, I swear I'm not being sarcastic about any of this, I'm just really tired, so everything just sounds... Like I'm like I'm having sarcastic undertones to everything, but I'm not. I'm just tired. I was supposed to record this video like three days ago when I first got the submissions, but I kept putting it off because I was too tired and I was like, no, I want to be in a good mood when I record this video because this is going to be really funny. Another thing that interests me about these uh, pictures is that I've seen uh, like maybe three or four times people have used our player models like this in their art or uh, videos or whatever. And it interests me because the Deadwater player models aren't available publicly because I made them specifically for our, our brand because we were originally going to be entirely Gary's Mod focused on our YouTube channel. So I was like, well, I want unique player models uh, for our brand so that we can be, you know, unique and original and stuff so then that's when i made the django fett uh in a suit and the uh maybe if i wear this shirt spider-man for marvel and i made one for mahogany originally too but he didn't like it <laughs> for a number of reasons so he stopped using it um yeah so th since i made those they aren't available publicly so in fan pictures like this people basically uh recreate our player models 
in kind of a hacky way and I actually I'm not like mad about it or anything I think it's cool and I actually want to know how they do it because it, I'm assuming what they did is just use the model inflation tool and then just shrink uh, the original model's head and then get like in this case uh, the hostage model from Counter-Strike shrink its head down to zero percent and then get the Spider-Man model and then shrink its entire body down to nothing except the head and then pop it into the socket where the the hostage's head used to be. But the thing about that is that the inflation tool when you're using it to get rid of limbs and stuff is really really inconsistent and unreliable. 90% of the time if you try to get rid of all the body parts except for just the head or whatever, um, they'll still be like this weird skinny leftover skeleton junk stuff connected to the rest of the body and then like the whole rest of the model that you shrunk down is still there it's just invisible except for the weird skinny part so it's like you have this huge like full body weight of it had basically an invisible person that you have to kind of like lug around out of the way of the uh, uh of the actual model that you're trying to connect it to which is a huge pain but from what i could see in these pictures, uh, they seem to do it in a, a much cleaner way than that, somehow. And I actually want to know how they do that, because that would actually be really helpful uh, in Machinimas. But yeah, I think that's actually really cool that people can do that. Um, and make their own, like, recreations of our official models. Uh, I don't think they used the shrinking method that I was describing because when you shrink a character's body down, like Spider-Man here for instance, when you shrink his chest down to nothing, his neck, a little bit of his neck shrinks down along with it. So normally this whole neck right here would be really really skinny and thin down towards the bottom here at the collar. Uh, so I don't think they used that. Um, that method. None of this is probably interesting to any of you, but it's it's interesting to me because I I do source modding and stuff, so I'm I'm interested in how they recreate our stuff like that. I actually kind of wanted to release our models publicly, but uh, <laughs> uh, there's a number of reasons why I don't want to. Maybe someday. I don't know, probably not, but, um, but yeah, anyways, if you haven't heard yet, we're, we're, we're working on Half-Life Alex now, um, or we're going to be working on Half-Life Alex very soon, uh, tomorrow, in fact, we're going to start work on Half-Life Alex by a bot. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. It's probably gonna take a while, so we probably won't be uploading on the main channel very much uh, for a while until that's done. Mahogany still hasn't actually finished Half-Life Alex yet, by the way. <laughs> we kind of just gave up. He started like a couple weeks ago. He was like, I'm gonna prove to you that I can finish Half-Life Alex." before the weekend's over and then he played it once for like an hour <laughs> and then <laughs> he did it he did it finish the game before the weekend's over but uh yeah like five days later i'm like do you want to just start on half-life alex by a bot and he's like okay yeah we can do that and now he's probably gonna write an angry comment on this video and like rants about how he has a good excuse, which I'm sure he did. He said that the reason why he didn't uh, finish it was because uh, he was having problems with his headset and something about like he had to restart the game every time there was a level transition, which I mean, that's not that big of a deal in my opinion, because the levels in Half-Life Alex are pretty dang long. So that's it's 
It's not that bad. If there was a loading screen like every 10 minutes, like in the original Half-Life or Half-Life 2, I could understand. But the levels in Half-Life Alex take a pretty long time to finish, so... Uh, but yeah, he said he had to restart the game after every loading screen and also uh, that his headset was really uncomfortable and, and stuff, so... I'm sure he actually... I'm sure it was reasonable. I just like poking fun at him because it's funny when he gets mad. But like, for real though, I don't think he's ever gonna finish playing the game. He should really, like Vahogany, if you're listening to this, which I'm sure you are, you really need to just like go watch a playthrough of it or something at this point. Because really, like, if you're not enjoying it at this point, you're probably not gonna enjoy it at any point. You really should just like watch someone else play through the game. You'll probably get more out of it that way than if you were to actually play the game yourself anyways. Just pretend it's a movie. It's, it, it's, it's, it'll, still, it'll still be enjoyable, trust me. Especially if you remember the storyline of uh, Half-Life 2 and its episodes, which I, I mean, I hope you do. You just finished playing through them like a year ago and, and in our time, that's like only a couple months ago in our in our state of mind, so you should be fine. You should be fine. 